Well, hello everyone, it's Hamilton Fan 1705 here, and welcome to another video. I'm going to be discussing something a little bit different today. This is after what what happened in the final corner of the final lap of the Formula E race, just that happened, that finished like an hour ago. Basically, people who don't know when watching this video, it's basically Nick Heifer went for a move, and then uh, and then Nicholas Frost went to the inside, causing a huge crash. What actually caused a Heidfeld's crash to be major was he basically went over the sausage curb and then slammed. It looked like it was head first into the barrier. Thank God he was okay. So now the reason why I'm making this video is this is regarding the sausage curbs. Should this is regarding like should the FIA do something about this in F1 or, or actually should everyone do this in all types of motorsport to be honest because. I really do not think that sausage curves are safe. They have to do something about it. And because if it wasn't for that sausage curve, it wouldn't have been as big a crash. Yes, he would have gone quite fast into the wall, but still, it wouldn't have been as unsafe as it was. So really, I think that all the motorsport running bodies should oh, that sounds a bit wrong but all the people who, like FIA and the MSA and the people who run most sports should really think about this because we saw a similar we could have almost saw a similar accident in the GP3 practice obviously with Tereshenko going over that sausage curb and that was a very spectacular crash and Good that he was okay as well, because he did land quite softly. He didn't, I mean, he didn't land that softly, but is there a better, if there's a better, the FIA and all motorsport governing bodies should think of a better solution to this, because the sausage curbs cannot stay in F1 for, the, for much longer. In fact, it cannot stay in all types of motorsport for much longer, because they're dangerous, that's the point. I mean, had that accident occurred in like an even a 90s F1 car, Highfield would have probably been at least seriously injured in that crash because the sausage curve just launched him up in the air and into the barrier. So, really, I think the FIA and all motorsport governing bodies should look at that and think, Right, sausage curbs are not safe, and they sh and we need to do something about that. We need to do work on our tracks, and then maybe make a different solution. Because obviously, sausage curbs are there to not to make it so people don't like cut corners and stuff like that. Also, anti cuts should be removed, I think, as well. What I think they should do instead is maybe just ditch the anti cuts and the sausage curbs. Then instead, put in place like a flat bed of gravel trap, like a small thin bed, because that would lose probably people more, the drivers more time than if, say, there was a sausage curb there, and it would also be a lot safer because if, say, if it was a gravel trap there, then. He wouldn't have been launched in the air. Then Hyper wouldn't have been launched, and or in, or Tereshenko in that GP3 crash, those two drivers wouldn't have been launched in the air like they were. If it was that, if it was that. But obviously, there may be best solutions. But what is clear is after this crash, they should have really looked at after the GP3 crash, and then we've had we've seen. A sim it would have been a very similar crash had the barrier not been that near. So, what well, I think, they they really do need to do something about sausage curves because it's they're just not safe. 